Here, right, right this way. Watch your step. Okay, they're they're in the woods. The camera keeps on moving. Uh, I think they're they're looking for some witch or something. I I don't know. I wasn't listening. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Something about a map. Nothing's happening. It's over. A lot of people in the audience look pissed. Now remember, Chris, we have to work together so that our steps... <laughs> well, looks like that's it, except for the flight crew. Hey, Brian, what's with the Johnny Law routine? Say hello to our newest narc. He's a natural. Oh, yeah? How, how good are you? You're back from Manila. You had lumpia for dinner. Then you made love to two Filipino women. And a man. You mean three Filipino women? No! They're not kids, they're midgets. Filthy drug peddling midgets. Oh my god! Look out, Brian! <laughs> Afraid you dish for your cupcake. What? It was just carpet fresh. I'm on your side. I've been observing your behavior, and I don't think you're an addict. I think you're an idiot. Well, I don't pay you to think, hot lips. In fact, I don't pay you at all. Count it. I'll be keeping my eye on you. What's your name? Uh, my, my name? Uh, 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 P... Uh, uh, Tear, uh, uh, Griffin. Yeah, yeah, Peter Griffin. Oh, crap. Previously on Family Guy. Oh, my God. Tell your father not to start the car. You want my badge number? Here, here's my freaking badge number. I can't lose this case. Lois, the case is already over. <laughs> Who did this to you? In all my years of research, I've never seen a virus reproduce this quickly. Everyone I've told about the file is dead. What do you mean, cut the blue wire? They're all blue wires! Face it, he's never coming out of that coma. And now back to Kids Say the Darndest Thing. It's okay, take your time. Then what happened? He... He said he would kill me if I ever said anything. Do you remember what he looked like? Yeah. He had a scar on his arm, and he had a big, stupid doo-doo head. A big, stupid doo-doo head! <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the things these children come up with. Oh, my. I feel bad staring without having paid for a ticket. I mean, really, how am I supposed to follow that act? Bite the head off a chicken? Yeah, they're staring at me. They're just jealous. <sighs> uh, you're next? Hey, w wait a minute. Wait, we were next. Hey! Hey, don't walk away from me! Hey! <sighs> you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get the video camera out and we'll make our own show. I don't wanna! Yes, you do. You do because it's normal. Oh, great. I always end up sitting next to a damn baby. What? What did you just say? Still, we stop fussing. Not now, Lois. Hey, big man, turn around. If you've got something to say, say it to my face. Oh, you can't hear me now. All right, that's it. I was going to watch the movie, but forget it. For the next five hours, you're my bitch. Where? Where? My ears are popping, and there's no way to console me. I'm hungry and possibly teething. Maybe I'm wet. Who knows? I'm a baby. Where? Where? Peter, you can't just pull the kids out of school for a baseball game. Uh, there's nothing these kids learn in school they can't learn on the street. It's 3 o'clock. Where the hell is Louie? Well, you tell me. Louie left his house at 2.15 and has to travel a distance of 6.2 miles at a rate of 5 miles per hour. What time will Louie arrive? Depends if he stops to see his hole. That's what we call a variable. Peter, how the hell can you afford lobster on your salary? I got a raise. <laughs> what? 
Yeah, the new owners gave everyone raises. Even Kenneth, the badass mail clerk with the heart of gold. Hi, Kenneth. Hey, did I get any mail? No, but if you come any closer, I'll slice you. Okay, okay. Man, what a badass. Yeah, well, that badass just gave half his paycheck to orphans. Orphans with diseases. Oh, you don't need to park here, Mr. Griffin. You have an executive parking space now. Well, that looks exactly like my old space. Yeah, but this one comes with your own company suck-up. Morning, Mr. Griffin. Nice day. Well, it's a little cloudy. It's absolutely cloudy. One of the worst days I've seen in years. So, good news about the Yankees. I hate the Yankees. Pack of cheaters. That's what they are. I love your tie. I hate this tie. It's awful. It's gaudy. It's got to go. And I hate myself. I hate you, too. You make me sick, you fat sack of crap. But I'm the president. The best there is. But you just said you hated me. But not you, the president, the you who said you hated you, you who love, hate, Yankees, clouds. Right this way, everyone. Bless you for helping us, Father. It's God's wish, my dear. <laughs> All right. Well, Hurricane Norman is beginning to pound Quahog, we now go live to Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa for a look at how locals are dealing with the imminent disaster. Trisha? Diane, I'm hearing... Thank you, Trisha. Food by a wrecked bar. That bar's not wrecked. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm not wrecked. Oh, thank you, God. Don't mention it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Something's different. Evening, gents. How about a nice warm lager? And help yourself to a packet of crisps. Or a ruddy nice plum pudding. Holy crap! It's a gay bar! Okay, Bonnie. One, two, three, push! <laughs> My God! I can walk! It's a mirror! Sorry, Dad. Just get the chair. <laughs> Good shot! Made my brown eye blue with that one. Yeah, next one's coming for your head. Oh, no! No help! Oh, help! What the hell? Now is the winter of your discontent! Which is good, because I finally have someone to give this training bride to. There you go, Josephina. Does that feel good on your new budding bosoms? Eh? Eh? It sure does, Get the hell off of me! Well, Rudolph, we finally figured out what makes your nose red. Is it pixie dust or, or leprechaun tails? No, it's a tumor. You mean like a magical Christmas tumor? No, a malignant tumor. The base of which is lodged deep within your brain. Oh. Like a happy special... You're going to die. Well, son, you played good, but your dad is still number one. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever beat you. Hey, Chris, what's with your leg? Oh, my God, that's not your leg. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone get ready. Say hello to the lovers. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, you were right. I should have just stuck to the plan. Well, I figured you might get soft on me, so I hired an old friend to scar them for life. Hey there, sweetie. How old are you? Sixteen. Eighteen? You're first. Mom! I like where this is going. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Ah! It's a boy, Mrs. Griffin. I'm afraid the fever has affected his motor skills, Mrs. Griffin. Looks like he's gonna have to repeat the fourth grade, Mrs. Griffin. Looks like he's going to have to repeat the fourth grade, Mrs. Griffin. The only way to get rid of them is with this special shampoo and a tiny comb, Mr. Griffin. Congratulations. You've passed the fourth grade, Mr. Griffin. Oh, great! Listen, I gotta leave, though. I'm going hunting with my son. That truck's coming up on us awful fast. Holy crap! Do you see what I see? I'm afraid I do. We're being chased by ghosts! That was amazing. Congratulations. This is mine. This is where my babies come from.
Hey, look at me, Chris. I'm Yanni, sends the attitude. My God, that's amazing. You are so talented. Huh? Wait a second. Something's not right here. You were just making it look like you were playing. You're a phony. Hey, this guy's a great big phony. Come on, Chris. Not now, Stewie, when we get home. That's right. You're a big fat phony. Hey, you know who lives in this house? A great big phony. That's right. A phony lives here. A big fat phony. So long, farewell, a wild feeder zane. I'd like to stay and taste my first champagne. Yes? No. So long, farewell, our feet are saying goodbye. I leave and heave, I sigh and say goodbye. Goodbye! The sun has gone to bed and so must I. So long, farewell, our feeders ain't goodbye, 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 goodbye. Sampling a few things, searching for something that fits him just right. <gasps> well, clearly it's not that tube top. Hey, looking for a good time, sweet cheeks? Oh, my God. Peter, get in the car. Okay, but it'll cost you. What do you want, a Cleveland steamer? I said get in the car. What's a Cleveland steamer? It means that he'll... Whoa, 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 be cool, be cool. Yeah, so go to Maple Street and then take a left and then uh, you go... Uh... Okay, so you want a party or what? Get in this car right now! It's eerie, isn't it? Like looking into the future. Look alive, ladies. Allow me to introduce the best of the best, the Black Knight himself. And this is his trophy wench, Maid Madeline. Ding. There we are. It's a Van Gogh print. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, yes. I've often fantasized about what this house would be like with more culture. The port is quite good. Yes, quite good. Indeed. Most certainly. What year is it? 51. Ah. Delectable. Indeed. Yes. Oh, dear. What is it? I've spontaneously combusted. Oh, I am sorry. Oh, it's quite all right. I've grown tired of living. Ah, very good, then. For the best. Yes, indeed. Oh, is it raining again? Peter, I'm waiting. I'm coming. <laughs> Gossett Jr. Hey, Muscle Arm. Why the long face? Oh, it's this girl. I can't talk to her. It's like girls are a different species or something. Oh, uh, who needs them? You like popsicles? Well, sure. Then you need to come on down to the cellar. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mmm. No, thanks. I gotta get going. Oh, don't make me beg now. <laughs> You're funny. Bye. Get your fat ass back here. A 
I'll ride a bike. I'm out of here. Here we are, the town of Bumblescum. This is our house? Oh, come on, Meg. I bet if we fixed it up a little bit, it could be a piece of crap. Oh, what's that smell? It's either bad meat or good cheese. There's a penny underneath that couch. Oh, my. Well, it's too hot to cook anyway. Peter, what's the upstairs like? There's a Crunchberry underneath the fridge. Well, at least the TV gets decent reception. Huh, must be some kind of nature show. Ah, ah, help, help, get off, get off, ah! Don't you understand? I lost the perp. I lost the perp. Oh. <laughs> Tell your mommy and daddy the Griffins are here. Come on in. Welcome, Griffins. Oh, uh, uh, we must be early. Oh, nonsense. You're right on time. Oh, my God. She's got hair growing out of her boobs and up to her head. You're, uh, you're completely... Nude? Yes, we're nudists. Permission to freak out. So you're the man who saved my husband's life, Dottie Campbell. Oh, what am I doing? Come here. Watch my hands, Lois. Look, look, see, see where they are? See? No touchy. Feel that? That's premium blue tip Bermuda. Real hearty, but soft. Oh, good Lord. Don't look directly into it, Lois. The hot dogs and burgers are ready. Can I get you beer, Peter? Uh, what do you got? I've got Bush. Sport, how'd you do? I got first place, Dad. Way to go, champ. Jeff plays varsity tennis for St. Genevieve High. Oh, cool. Is this the biggest thing you've ever seen? Hey, don't get too cocky. I had a big one like that when I was your age. Oh, you were a show-off yourself, Dave. He brought it out on our first date. Lois, I'm scared. Oh, I'll get that. Hey! Oh, oh, oh God! Oh, Dave, sorry. Oh, oh, God. Holy moly, it must be my birthday. It's a fake. It's not real. I thought it'd be best for you to find out on your own, kid. I feel like such a fool. Don't even look at me. Hey, come on. You want to get some ice cream? That'd make you feel better, right? You want to get some McDonald's? You want to take a dump in Mother Maggie's shoes? Okay, let's go take a dump in Mother Maggie's shoes. Oh, I gotta get a green steen or a rosen plant of my very own. Nothing else has worked so far. So I'll wish upon a star. Wondrous dancing speck of light. I need a jewel. Lois makes me take the rap Cause our checkbook looks like crap Since I can't give her a slap I need a Jew Though by many they're abhorred Hebrew people I've adored I don't think they killed my lord. I need a Jew. 
Hi, my name's Max Weinstein. My car just broke down. May I use your phone? Now my troubles are all through. I have a jewel. Hey! Oh, it's you. Um, I'm not in right now. Please leave a message. Beep. Oh, man, I hate these things. Uh, yeah, hi, this is Peter Griffin. Uh, I'm sorry I missed you. Uh... Peter, play with this. Look, sir, I have reviewed this contract, and it offers no coverage at all. It just says volcano insurance over and over again. And down here in small print, it says he's signing it, he's signing it. I can't believe it. So? So just refund this man's money, and we'll be on our way. I don't have your money. How about that money? No way! That's Lois's rainy day fund. Ah, oh, damn it. Jeez, oh, Max, I, I don't know about this. I went to Catholic school. I'm not sure this is allowed. Ah, oh, what the hell? Oh, dear. Sister Mary Joseph, it appears Peter Griffin has entered a synagogue. Lock and load, Brides of Christ! I'm sorry, Lois. I just wanted our son to be Jewish so he'd be smarter. Yeah, maybe his wife wouldn't be sorry she didn't marry the chimp next door. Oh, Peter, just because Stephen makes more money than you doesn't mean he's any smarter. And I think Chris will do just fine. Yeah, and as they say, Zoles, I admit, Greg. What? I think what he's trying to say is everything's gonna be okay. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? It's so frickin' good. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? If you haven't, then I think you should. I was sitting in the kitchen one day, and I was itching to fill up my belly with the piping hot jelly of the best damn treat in the world. He's talking Pop-Tarts. And I saw a stick of butter, and it almost made me shudder and scream like a baby girl. I don't want a giant penis or a rocket trip to Venus. I don't want to win the lottery. I just want to squat and gobble till I'm dizzy and I wobble in the butterfruit and Joe's hot cream.